Hi, everyone. Welcome to part two. So to continue, we've met somebody that is ready to start this journey and they are getting used to the idea of you being in their life and they like that idea. They want to start to spend a little bit more time with you. They're starting to realize they have feelings for you. So this journey is ready to go. You are the first person in a long time that they are interested in. So we want to see what else they have to share with us. What, what does uh, Spirit want to share with us? Some honest feelings from this person and what is important to know about this connection. There are fireworks. We're going to get going with this connection. Um, I like that. I like this feeling of I'm definitely interested in you. I did have that feeling of we've been going back and forth. It could be just like text messages going back and forth, a little bit of bantering. Um, it could be just kind of getting ready. It could be just ready to make their move. But um, I do feel the fireworks are starting. I'm definitely interested in you and I definitely want to get this started. So um, we also learned in part one and I will put part ones. If you missed it, I will put it at the end of this recording um, if you want to check that out. But I have tie the knot. Now that did come into me a little bit of I'm afraid of a commitment. I'm afraid of being in a serious relationship. Um, so that could be their hesitation. Like, I don't want to start something that somebody that that's all they're looking for. Um, doesn't mean that I'm not available for that in the future. Doesn't mean I'm not open to that in the future. But I don't want to enter into this connection with like, that's um, somebody's agenda is I just want to get married. And I just, I'm going to push somebody because this person could be coming out of something. They're still struggling with some feelings from an act. They could have been thrown under the bus <laughs> by an ex, and they're still struggling with that. I had there's great chemistry. There's ecstasy in this connection. I did feel the chemistry already. So I'm not going to deny the attraction. I'm not going to deny that there's something going on here. Um, I'm going to say that. I'm going to believe in divine timing. I love divine timing, right place at the right time. I want to be with you. I want to see where this goes. So I do feel positive and spirit saying yes. So we've got this beautiful yes coming in and we've got this, this energy of I want to get this going. So if there's somebody out there that you've been thinking of and you're wondering, is this person want the same thing that I want or is this just a game? Is this just a... Um, you know, we're playing a um, pen pal game on, you know, text messages, or they're just flirting with us at work all the time, and they don't really want anything. You know, um, I think that there's more to go more going on here. I feel like they're just getting up the courage to start another relationship, and they don't want to waste their time or your time. They just want to make sure this is real before we start something real. So I think that's going on. King of Swords, they're thinking this through. This is a thinker. This is a doer. This is a planner. This is somebody who's like got to get their head on straight and say, I this is what I want. This is what I don't want. Um, so I feel like they're going to have like crystal clear um, boundaries, I guess, in the beginning. Like this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm not looking for. This was what's going to work for me or not work for me. Um, so, I mean, that's good. Entering into a connection because you'd rather know what their intentions are right from the beginning. So you can decide if that's in alignment with you. So I have a three of cups. We have a celebration coming. That is something I'm excited about. I have a four of pentacles. They are going to hold back. They're going to wait. They're going to see if this works. A little bit of a test. I don't like people testing me. I don't like people making me jump through hoops or anything like that. But I'm just going to say it's like a test of time, like time will evolve or um, let's give this a little bit of time and see what happens. OK, and I think that that's OK in this case. I don't feel like this person is wasting your time. I don't think it's it's a way to push you away because they don't want a long term commitment. I feel like it's just what they have to do for themselves cells to be in the next relationship. So I've got a 10 of wands that just came into me as a busy schedule, back and forth scheduling, <laughs> trying to get together. Uh, what works for you? What works for them? Yeah, I've got a lot of conflict. So we could have a scheduling conflict. We could have um, whether it's kids, time, 
work um, issues that we're doing a little bit of juggling just to try to figure out some time that we could spend together or that first date or that first um, you know, encounter. But I have a page of swords and that's coming into me as I want to talk. I do want to talk. I definitely want to get to know you. I'm looking forward to getting to know you, asking you a lot of questions, Spirit just said. And um, just this feeling of I want to know who you are, page of pentacles. Yeah. So this person's going to come forward. It's almost a feeling of I want to spend some time with you and I, I have to get to know you. And let's see where it goes you know let's see if you're interested in me as much as i'm interested in you um because i do feel like that's really what's going on in their head like i said it's not necessarily a test that you have to prove yourself it's more of a time will tell <laughs> and they're they're saying to themselves like if this is meant to be it's just going to naturally unfold which i am a big believer in and i always say let the universe you know um unfold it for you so if it's meant to be it will be i have make their first move which is something that we were struggling with in part one because it was it came into me as you waiting for them to make the first move and them kind of be like, well, what's wrong with you making the first move? Um, so who's making the first move? I am going to put it back on them. I am going to um, put it back on that. It's their, it's their move to make um, a discovery period. I do want to get to know you. Absolutely. I'm happy with you. I'm going to be happy with you. I think that's really important. You're happy. They're happy. We have mutual feelings and we're planning for the future. You do have a planner. You have somebody who thinks ahead. You have somebody who's always kind of forecasting into the future. Spirit's letting me know bottom of the deck. They do want to let you know this is going to be a deeper commitment that we are going to um, move into a deeper commitment. So that's really exciting. So we're going to we're going to take that. Let's see what the love messages are for you. Um, I think this is going to move forward. OK, the person that you're thinking of and you're wondering, is this going to be something real? I do think this is going to move forward in a very short period of time or in a given time. Um, so hang in there. Be patient. Nobody wants to hear be patient from me. I know that um, alignment with the ascended master. Look for 333. Three, three. You are being protected. Thank you, Spirit. This is a transformation. It is divine timing, trust, faith, believe. That is one of my favorite. I say that all the time, right? Just keep trusting. It is an end of a cycle. Somebody may be walking away from something. I have unfinished feelings and I've been working on resolving those to enter into this union. So that could be important. I feel a magnetic pull back to you. I can feel our connection getting stronger and stronger. The pullback could be a soul connection from a past life. I can feel it. I can, I can sense it. You're different. It feels different. This is going to be a better or um, more intense relationship. I want to have a family with you if that's one of your goals, if that's something that I feel like, like I said in the beginning, they're going to put right on the table what it is that they want, what they don't want. So if they'd like to have children again, they, they're open to having children, they're going to let you know or they're not going to let you know. So, you know, just keep that in mind for those of you that would like to have a family. Um, let's get let's get one more of these because I am um, I'm pretty confident that this connection is going to move forward and we want to just let it unfold. We want the universe to work its magic. Um, I'm feeling so jealous of the people who get to be close to you right now. So they could be a little jealous. They could be jealous you're dating other people. They could be jealous that other people are flirting with you and they had better make their move is how it's coming into me. So I want to thank Spirit for this reading and I want to thank you all for being here. If you're new, please hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. I love reading your comments. I really appreciate it. If anyone's interested in a private reading, I will put my website link in the description, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.